So I'm putting putting uh, speaker grills on the uh, or grills on the subwoofers and uh, having a hell of a time getting them to go. Um, what's happening is let's see here when you go to put it on you can get part of it in and then you're fighting with this other lip and trying to jam it in it just it just doesn't want to go so what's working for me is uh, taking the grill and bending this in uh, this lip right here in a little bit all the way around and uh, that seems to be uh, the trick so I'm just just gently bending the rim Let's see here just gently bending this in and uh, That's how I got the other two on. This is the last one here. I figure make a video. No one else on YouTube seems to be showing how to put uh, these grills on. Looked on JL's website. The packaging doesn't explain anything. It's supposed to be just a compression fit. And man, it's tight. <laughs> it is not fun and not necessarily easy to put on at all. Um, so again, all I'm doing is just kind of, see if you can see this now, is just squeezing this part of the lip in. Um, and kind of right, anyhow, so we'll see what happens here. Just bending it down ever so slightly, evenly all the way around. Let's see if that did the trick. Let's see if that'll work. So now, put that on. It's better. Shoot. The lip's still catching. Alright. Still not quite going. So we'll just bend it in some more. Gently working that edge in. That's a little better. Still not enough. going to do is just take the edge and just bend it in a little more aggressively. You can see I'm just a little bit at a time bending that in. You don't want to bend it too far so it doesn't hit the uh, surround of the subwoofer. But you need to bend it in enough that it'll actually go on. Let's see. It feels better. It's in a little bit more. Oh, maybe. 
maybe. Just that little bit of a lip. No. Oh. Still not enough. Roll it in some more. Last a little bit. See how the edge is kind of kinking right here. It's kinking a little bit. It's not what you want. Oh, here we go. And then I'm not hitting out here, so I'm just hitting on this. Uh, Kind of chamfered edge or whatever this edge here and just kind of get it tall seen a different way to mount those but it works you got some play here but man there's nowhere near gonna ever hit the surround of the, the woofer shoot I might not even be able to get my seat back and I might have to take those back off I just retuned uh, my my amps uh, Got a little more voltage out of them. I had them down a little, a little lower than I thought I did. So I'm gonna have to put the covers back on and everything buttoned back up. subwoofer covers a little better from here all the way on down but all right here's the uh, RD 1500 the uh, little screws here are captured so they don't they don't fall out they've got a little c-clip
<coughs> All right. Mounted. Actually, I'm going to have to do the other side first. sub box In. Let's see, we'll slide all this back together. All right. What you can see here is the uh, factory four brackets. Um, and then there's a piece of rectangular tubing here underneath. This piece of rectangular tubing is uh, there's there's bolts there's two bolts that hold it on so that this piece of tube is held onto the seat by these two bolts this from the factory is spun around so that this uh, bolt here is in the front and this one's in the back well if you unbolt this from the seat spin it around like I have now it moves the seat forward uh, about three inches using the uh, using the uh, factory uh, mount or bolt bolt holes uh, here and here or here and here. One of these two. I can't remember if it's this one or this one. It probably that would be this one or this one. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, so I needed to move it forward. The seat, I needed to move it further forward, so I just drilled two two more holes. You can't see this one under here, but anyhow, just drilled it. So the bracket and everything moves forward just a little, little further. Works out great. You can get a, uh, a little over a four cubic foot, 4.1 cubic foot box. That's what this is out of three quarter inch MDF. Um, and that's kind of a one person job. You can slide the seat forward, check your amps, do what you need to do, and then put the seat back into place by yourself.
There. Good. So then, I'm just gonna reach under and just run those bolts, the bolts back on. See it from here. No. I don't really think we'll see that though.
in. We'll go, we'll bolt. Flip side back in. How much room? There we go. Between the seat and the subwoofers. right up against the wood or not the wood but the metal for the back window keep I had to take out the uh, that cloth piece piece that goes in here um, it ate up too much space I need to go back and get to get this box in you can see it keeps the box right up against and uh, still have one more gap here than I thought I did but subs in there. Nice. It's more of my thoughts in there. Uh, let's look at the other. Let's see if that Now, if you open the, you can feel a little bit of that <laughs> of the uh, uh, grill right here. Now, that's cool. Definitely keeps it off and away from everything else, or from the back of the seat or whatever. And <clears throat> me being six foot two, you can see here. Whatever. 
those are the uh, speaker grill numbers I had the uh, stereo shop order for me because they don't show up on uh, JL's website which is kind of weird there we get three of them for me so get the seat up here it's comfortable for me and then leave that as is come back here how much knee room I have six foot two I've got some space in between here and here you can definitely kind of you know get back feet fit up underneath which is that helps and uh yeah I mean I'd like a little more space but it is what it is you sacrifice a little bit but I can sit like this and Definitely comfortable. So, yeah, not bad. Let's see. Now oh, there you can kind of see the subwoofer behind the speaker terminals. Wow. <laughs> at Home Depot. I can't remember what they they were over. Um, shoot, I don't remember. But anyhow, you've got a, a set screw there. Just loosen that up. Speaker wire pulls out. I have ferrules and all the speaker wire ends. And then the uh, the bolt goes through and attaches to the speaker wire inside. Um, so if you ever want to disconnect, just undo your two set screws inside of there. see those just undo your set screws inside there and you can take your speaker wires out kind of nice Crossed. Now, I think that dent right there is just from when I was pounding it on. Cosmetic more than anything. Kind of sucks to not have it there, but whatever. Some 